I think that's what the future of cannabis is. I think that's what the future of medicine is. I think, you know, it's like we almost, we almost, there was a, there was a time, a course in time, and we can actually pinpoint it, in my opinion, where medicine was so vast and so encompassing and it included everything. And then all of a sudden, because of laws and misconceptions and perceptions and racism, if you will, uh, we decided to, we, we decided to take a category out of the medicinal pot. A lot of categories, in fact, you can you get cannabis, uh, cocaine, whether it's the cocoa plant or cocaine, LSD. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a number of forms of medicine, if you will, that that has not been explored since the 1930s. And it's like it was at you know it was at that time where we quit using all of the colors that were available to us. You know, we started to get we didn't use the greens, we didn't use the whites. <laughs> um, we, and we we decide, you know what? We can still we can still craft a picture of what it takes to to make medicine for mankind, but we didn't include some very fundamental colors, you know. And I feel like now now in two, 2022, we are exploring a little more with with these colors, with cannabis and and these other medicines, and we're starting to see that. Well, wait a second. Cannabis does offer a lot of medicinal properties, but if you include that with say some healing properties of aloe and i don't know maybe maybe a moisturizing or or maybe like a topical um um property of aloe and you grew that in a plant well sh now you have a super medicine I i'm just going down a, a trail here so it's like m maybe there's something to that maybe there maybe cannabis standalone is a miracle but once we introduce it with something we have you know this new thing, this new yeah, that, great that thing. could be the evolution, where it's not necessarily the recreation, and it's side. not pharmaceutical. Yeah, you know, we're growing yeah. this in our backyard. You know, is it still good? Is it bad? Who knows? I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but I love to think it like I am. Well, like if you think about it, you know, like again, I always refer back to it was a fucking great talk. We got to get him on the show, Todd McCormick. Shout out to the OG. Um, he discussed how a lot of genetics are so different than what they were once upon a time. There were bred for gorilla growing. They were bred for short seasons. They were bred for avoiding, you know, getting busted. So think about like a cultivar like GMO, never have smoked that shit unless we were legally allowed to grow. Who would have a 13 week cultivar that they would grow? You know what I'm saying? Like people are doing short, short cycles. Most commercial grows are doing that. And that's how back then when it's gorilla grow and, and cash cropping, same thing. So now as we're advancing, you may find a, a 15 week or some crazy fucker who gives you these properties that are really psychoactive and all of a sudden you have a psychedelic effect because that THC is modified in, in a certain way and, and all these different chemical compounds and the cannabinoids can it mature more because of that. I think, I mean, it's all hypothetical. It's all bro science, but well, what a journey to go. Yeah. You know, what, 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 we don't know. We, we, we were given a short stick, a short end of the <laughs> stick because while we did things underground, what was once there was suppressed because of business or because of laws or because of things that were out of our control. So now we're picking up the pieces and people are breeding and figuring out the new properties in cannabis and how terpenes affect everything and how the flavonoids and the entourage affect and really seeing the advancement in the science that of shit that's already there. Like shit that's probably been there for a thousand years. We're just Could starting you imagine to figure out how to use it. On LSD, man. You know what I mean? Could you imagine just injecting LSD into the weed? Or getting some psilocybin like, properties in terms of like you really because think about in terms of PTSD and things that they use yeah, for medicinal purposes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you were able to really have that or to have an edible grow and yet plant mushrooms infused, so bad. Like to, to to have a plant that grows with like an edible THC and C B D and like you know what I'm saying? Hybridizing mm -hmm. a cannabis plant with yeah. melons. And using getting the best out of it, you know. I was, yeah, yeah, I was like, like it's rudely interrupted. Crazy, it's like man. mushrooms taste horrible. So could you imagine <laughs> if you could just smoke it in your weed? Yeah. Hmm? Now I know you can drink it in your tea, but that's no fun. No. Or Two birds, baby. Two birds, okay. one stone. This FTS clip was brought to you by AC Infinity, leaders in garden innovation. Use discount code the stash15 at checkout to save some money on your order. From the Stash Podcast.